Sam, I'm in trouble. What's the matter? I'm busy right now. My grandpa is in the hospital. He seems to have a pretty serious illness. What does it matter? It's none of my business. What? What's that? He's my only living relative. Aren't you being a little too cold? So what? It's not my family, and it has nothing to do with me. Why don't you just worry about him on your own? That's terrible. You don't have to say it like that. I want us to be there for Grandpa as much as possible. Huh? You want me to go to the hospital too? For what? There's nothing we can do about it, right? You're not a doctor. What are you going there for? Because I'm worried about Grandpa. That's none of my business. Besides, what the hell are you doing leaving the house like that? It's important for me to go to the hospital, but of course I do my housework. It doesn't look that way to me. The house is a mess, and even dinner is not good these days. That's not true. I work hard every day. That's enough. Your housework doesn't satisfy me at all. Why are you so demanding? If you'd do better, I wouldn't complain. But right now, I'm worried about Grandpa. You don't have to tell me that now, do you? I'm saying that's being naive. You have to take care of the house first. He's not your family. He's my family. He's very important to me. Then do as you want, but it's none of my business. You really are a cold person. I wish you'd have a little more compassion as a human being. You grew up spoiled, so you don't see the reality. You don't have to say that. Besides, my mom says you should do your chores better. Molly said that. I'm trying so hard. You're not trying hard enough. You're part of the family only if you do everything perfectly at home. I do my best for the family every day, but I don't like to be told like that. You just need to fix what you're being told. Your attitude is the problem. My attitude is the problem. That's right. I'm telling you to think about us more and act. But I still can't leave him alone. If he's so important, why don't you just move in at the hospital? I can't do that. He wants me to stay home. Then you have to be more efficient. You have to take care of the house perfectly. My mom did everything perfectly. You should learn from her. But she was a housewife, right? I have a job too. That's just an excuse. I'm sure you can do it if you put your mind to it. If you do that, people will stop complaining. But I don't know what to do anymore. I'm saying that's being naive. You should work on yourself more. That's enough. I can't follow what you're saying. Well, then do as you please. Hey, it's been a month since your grandpa was hospitalized, right? How's his condition? Well, I'm sure he won't last long, but I just thought I'd ask how he's doing. What the hell is that? Your old man's in danger, isn't he? Is he going to heaven soon? Why are you saying that all of a sudden? Grandpa will be fine. He's not okay. You've been going to the hospital so often. There must be a reason. Grandpa's in danger, isn't he? Well, that's true, but. I'm sure Grandpa is still fine. You know I want to believe that, don't you? But he's already over ninety. He's lived long enough. Let him get some rest. Why do you say that? What? You're making a big deal out of it, so I'm just showing you the reality. He's the only relative I have. I know that. But you know what? 
It's not like he did anything to me, so it's none of my business. It's because my grandpa didn't think too well of you. It's also because of your attitude. Huh? What did I do? I'm just saying I have no obligation to your family. To Grandpa, I'm his only granddaughter. You told me what to do in front of him and made fun of me. That's why he got sick of you, so I don't blame him. I just treated you what a normal husband would do. I'm your husband, so I'm supposed to be the big guy, right? That doesn't mean you have to act like a big shot. Well, there's no point in arguing about that now. Anyway, I'm still at the hospital, so I'll see you later. Why don't you ask the doctor? How long do you think he actually has? You're not seriously saying that, are you? Why not? I'm just being realistic. I'm just thinking about the future. Not a bad thing, right? That doesn't mean you can ignore all my feelings. Don't you understand my feelings? Yes, yes, I understand. But I want to know when I'm going to get my inheritance. Even my mom wants to know. What? What are you talking about? Why does your mother want to know about the inheritance? Because your grandfather is rich? You're the only family he has left since your parents passed away. And we're honestly looking forward to inheriting his legacy. You're the worst. I'm so sad and my grandpa is suffering so much. Are you saying that you and Molly only think about the inheritance? Don't you think you shouldn't be talking about that in front of me? You can't blame me because that's actually what's going on. I didn't have anything to do with him, and I'm not interested. Not interested? I do feel a little sorry for you, though. But I'm actually looking forward to the inheritance. Do you already know how much you're going to get? Do you talk about that kind of thing? We haven't. That's enough. I don't want to talk about it right now. I'm going back to the hospital room. You should ask the doctor. How much longer do I have to wait for my inheritance to come through? Whatever. I'm gonna go now. Elsa, I heard from Sam. What? Why didn't you tell me about it? We are family, right? When you're in trouble, you have to talk to me. I heard that your grandfather is in critical condition. Thank you for your concern, Molly. Yes, he's in a pretty bad condition right now. I hope he manages to pull through. That's not necessary. We should just let him rest in peace. What? We've already bought a house, and we're looking forward to living together from next month. It might take some time for you to get used to the new environment, though. Well, don't worry. I'm basically going to let you do the housework. If you don't want to do it, maybe you can hire a housekeeper. Don't worry about the little expenses, because everything will be gorgeous in your new home. Finally, I'll be a celebrity. It's been a long time to come this far. I can't believe the life I've been dreaming about for so long is now a reality. What are you talking about? A house? Don't tell me you decided on this without telling me. Living in a new house is such a big decision. Sam told me you're going to inherit five million dollars. We've got to make good use of that, don't we? We have to plan well for our future. Now my grandpa is in critical condition. Why are we talking about money in houses? I can't think about such things at such an important time. I'm talking about realistic matters. We've already signed the contract for the house. To be honest, I need to get the money as soon as possible. So you're not going to prolong his life or anything anymore, are you? Do it quickly. That's enough. 
So you bought a house by relying on my inheritance? I can't believe it. Huh? Sam said we should do that. I agree with that. I think he made a wise decision. Sam? You decided on such an important matter without consulting me? It's our future. Why are you going ahead with it on your own? It's not just the house we bought, you know. But that's okay. We have five million, so don't be stingy. From now on, let's all get along, shall we? That's enough. I already know what kind of people you are. I thought I understood you before, but now I realized who you really are. I really can't believe it. What are you messing around with? Oh, we are not going to the funeral. We are too busy getting ready to move. You can take care of the funeral, and all on your own over there. You have money, so you can handle it, right? Yes, you don't have to come. Goodbye, forever. Hey, you're a real goof, aren't you? You should think about how we're feeling. Are you trying to harass us? What? Isn't it about time you finished everything? Hurry up and put the money in. Huh? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I don't know if you're busy with the funeral or what. But you haven't been in touch lately. What have you been doing? I've been busy. Even though my grandfather, my only family, passed away, you didn't even show up for the funeral. You wouldn't understand how I feel. I was busy too, getting ready to move. And I don't like funerals or heavy atmosphere. And you went on and bought a house with Molly without consulting me. And trying to have me pay for it, right? It's a house for our family, so there's no problem. Did you inherit five million dollars? If you did, transfer the whole amount to my account. Mom is asking about the money, too. You're only demanding my inheritance, aren't you? Really, you're so pathetic. What's your point? You're my wife, so your money is our family money. We even bought a house for us to live in together, you know. It's time to pay up. Just do it. Why would I pay that kind of money? Why would I have to live with you guys? What kind of a joke are you talking? I'll live my life with the five million dollars you inherited. Give all of it to me and my mother. I don't have a husband. What? I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but I'm already divorced from you. You have no right to demand my inheritance, and you have no right to anything else. Didn't you know that? What are you talking about? We're not divorced. Don't talk nonsense. I was divorced early on because I knew what you two were up to. So I'm single. Is there a problem? Come on. We're not divorced. You're not making any sense. Are you crazy because your old man is gone? I was sad when Grandpa passed away, but I'm glad I'm divorced from you. We really are divorced. If you don't believe me, why don't you go check with City Hall? Huh? Divorce, really? You filed for divorce? Yep, I did. I'm glad I kept what you wrote down before. Before the talk of inheritance came up, you were always saying, I'm divorcing you, and then you put the divorce papers on a desk. You probably didn't know I was keeping them. You kept them? Really? Why did you do that? Are you seriously planning to divorce me? It's not that I'm going to do it. I did it. You're a stranger now, so don't count on my money, okay? I divorced from you before my grandpa passed away, so you won't get a penny. Huh? You're joking, right? I would never joke about that. It's really pathetic of you to rely on my inheritance to buy a house. When did I say I would give you the money? 
Of course, I'll decide how to spend the inheritance I'm going to receive. Wait a minute. So you're really saying that we're divorced and I can't receive inheritance? Of course not. You have no right to anything. What? Then what about the house I bought and the car payments? I didn't ask you to divorce me at this time without my permission. I decided when I divorced from you. When you handed me the divorce papers, it means you intend to divorce me, right? You underestimated me, disrespected me, and said you'd kick me out any time. Did I say that? I don't remember exactly. You always said that every time we had a fight. I've learned my lesson. I don't even want to see your face anymore, so I guess I'll never get involved with you again. But take care. Stop joking around. I already bought a car and a house. If we can't make the payments, we're in trouble. What are you going to do? You seem to be in a panic. What are you going to do? It's none of my business. Of course it's your business. I bought it because I thought I was going to receive the inheritance. Why are you being so irresponsible? Come back now. You can't ask me to be responsible for something like that. You can't ask me to pay for those things that you, my scum ex-husband, purchased on your own, mistakenly. Well, there is no going back. Why don't you go live in the house with your beloved mother? It's none of my business. There's no way I can pay. I bought it thinking I would get the five million dollars. Give me the money. I didn't hear that I can't accept the inheritance. Hey. I'm really in trouble, so do something about it. It doesn't matter what you say now. I told you we're divorced, remember? And I'm not in the U.S. anymore. It's no use trying to find me. What? You're not in the U.S.? You've been ordering to do everything until now. But from now on, it's useless. I am about to move abroad and live a comfortable life. What are you talking about, moving abroad? I didn't hear anything about that. How dare you go overseas without telling your husband? You're not my husband anymore. Can you please shut up? Your life is over. You shouldn't have spent that much money. Well, it's your choice. No inheritance. Wait a minute. Where are you? Don't joke about overseas. Come back. I can't do this anymore with you. I couldn't bear it for a long time already. This time, it has reached my limit. Then, take your debt and get along with your mother. Don't ever contact me again, you piece of scum. Elsa, I need to talk to you. Can you reply me as soon as possible? What's this about? I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Sam told me. Are you guys really divorced? That's a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. We are already divorced. I hope you will seriously reconsider about your grandfather's legacy. As I'm sure you understand, our lives depend on it. It is not my problem. Your lives are your own. We've already bought a house, and we're getting ready to move in. Sam is also having a hard time at work, and seems to be under a lot of stress. So maybe you can help us out a little? That's your own convenience, isn't it? It has nothing to do with me. Please help us. If you give us your inheritance, we can all live happily. Let's continue to get along as a family, as we always have. I am no longer family with you people. I have decided to go my own way. Elsa, I'm really in trouble. I believe you can help me. My decision will not change. I don't want to be involved anymore, so goodbye. Oh no!
After that, Sam and Molly contacted me repeatedly asking for help. At first I ignored them, but they were too frequent and annoying. I blocked all their contacts and decided to leave everything after that to my lawyer. Sam and Molly relied on my inheritance. They had purchased a house, a car, and jewelry for Molly. However, when it became clear that there was no money to pay, they panicked. In the end, they had no choice but to sell them off and use the money they got to pay off their debts. As a result, they are forced to live a miserable life and spend their days blaming each other. Their dreamy life in that mansion was over in an instant and they were left with their life in a shabby apartment. All of this was the result of their own selfishness. I, on the other hand, decided to devote myself to my work so that I could start over. I went through some difficult times with the divorce and the death of my grandfather, but I changed my mind by focusing on my work. As a result, my abilities were recognized and I was given a new project to work on. I am now able to live a fulfilling life by moving forward with my work. Hey Peter, you'll never believe what just happened to me. Oh, hey sis. Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks. No, nothing too bad has happened to me. Just the usual work stuff. How about you? Yeah, okay, I get it. But what I have to say is way more important than some stupid pleasantries. Alright, fine. What's your news? I'm going to be an actress! Isn't that amazing? Whoa, an actress? That's something. Looks like your dreams are finally coming true. You've always wanted to be an actress and to be rich and famous. How'd you get the part? Well, actually, it's a pretty cool story. I saw this ad online for an open audition nearby, so I thought I'd go and see what it was all about. To be honest, at first I wasn't sure because there were like all these people dressed up in weird costumes, but once I got in front of the judges, I was able to wow them with my talent. They asked me for a callback. I'm so excited. So, hang on, you just walked into an open casting call and got a callback? Uh-huh. Aren't I just amazing? You're something, all right. Oh, haha, ha. very funny. Anyway, my callback audition isn't for another few months yet, as the film is still being sorted out in pre-production, but I'm sure that I'm going to get the part. I was way prettier than anyone else there, and way more talented, too. The casting director will surely see my talent and hire me on the spot. Um... They did give me a number to call just in case I had any questions, but when I tried calling it earlier, it just cut off. Maybe it's my phone or something, though? I should buy a new one. Are you sure that this is all real? Like, actually a legitimate acting gig? What do you mean? Well, doesn't it all just seem a little too good to be true to you? Like, getting a call back, but it's not for months, and the number they gave you to call was a dud? Sounds to me like they were just trying to get rid of you. Tell me, did you refuse to leave the audition room again until they said you were called back? Ugh, it doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm going to become a star. So I'd really appreciate it if you didn't try to ruin this for me. What? I'm not trying to do that. Yes, you are. Like, I tell you this amazing news and you just want to find something wrong with it. I bet you're just jealous that I'm going to be famous and you aren't so... You're trying to stop me from going for the part. That's not true at all. I'm just trying to look out for you and make sure that you actually realize that this could all be a huge publicity stunt. They probably have no intentions of hiring anyone and it was all done to attract interest in the film. Oh wow, so me actually getting an acting part is something I've made up and it's never actually going to happen because I'm not talented enough? Is that what you're saying? Nice to know you believe in me and everything. No, I didn't say that. I'm just trying to be a good big brother. Well, you're not doing a very good job. Anyway, like I said, you're just jealous of me and my newfound career whilst you are doing nothing with your life. What are you on about? I'm not jealous. I've had many accomplishments in life. Really? All you do all day is slob about mom and dad's house, acting as if you deserve to have everyone do everything for you. I mean, seriously, does it feel good to be such a freeloader? I'm not a freeloader. I've actually been working really hard on something that... I think will lead to even better opportunities. Oh yeah, your little computer project? <laughs> it's a total waste of time. Everyone knows it. 
It's just a way for you to pretend you're working when in actuality, you're probably just playing a game or something. I mean, you got fired like a year ago. It's time you got over it. You need to stop scrounging off of mom and dad, get a job and pay them all the rent you probably owe. After all, you're a grown man, so you should be looking after yourself, not expecting mommy to coddle you. It's pathetic. At least I'm trying new things. You need to stop being so jealous of me and get over yourself. Otherwise, you'll be stuck as a loser nobody your entire life. Uh-huh. You done with your spiel yet? I've had to listen to this every day for the past however many months. It's getting kind of old. Just being honest. Don't get all sarcastic with me because you don't like the truth. Whatever. What is it you told me? I'm just trying to look out for you. Oh yeah, and how are you doing that? By insulting me? No. I can't believe you haven't figured it out yet. Dad are going to get sick and tired of you mooching off of them eventually, if they haven't already. I'm just trying to point this out before something drastic happens and you end up getting into a huge fight with them or something. Wouldn't want you ousted from the family for your incompetence after all. Has mom actually told you she feels like this? She's definitely hinted at it. I wouldn't be surprised if she just came straight out and said it soon. Whatever. I'm not going to let you poison my mind about mom and dad. Hey, mom. Peter? Is everything okay? You don't usually text me like this. Oh, um, yeah, everything's fine. I just wanted to check in with you, see how you were doing. How sweet. I'm doing okay. Did your sister tell you about her callback? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I can just see her now winning an Oscar and all of those awards. She'll be mingling with the stars before long. Yeah, although I can't say that they won't try and keep her on Earth. What? Ah, uh, never mind. Actually, Mom, I actually wanted to discuss something that Bethany said earlier. Oh, what was it? She said that I was simply freeloading off of you and Dad and that you were going to get sick of me eventually and kick me out. Is that true? Do you really think that? Well... You do? It's not so much that I think you're a freeloader, just that you're lacking motivation at the minute. I'm sure with a little push, you'll be back on your feet in no time. What do you mean? Well, maybe it's time that you move out. I think you're a bit too old to be living with your parents. Where's this coming from? I just think that before you get too comfortable at home, you need to put yourself out there and find a place of your own. After all, if you don't, you could end up being 40 and still living with me and your dad. You don't want that, do you? Well, no, but I've got no money to actually move out. Where would I go? I'm sure you'll figure something out. You're a smart boy after all. But I do think it's best if you leave by the end of the month. What? But th that's too soon. The sooner the better. It'll give you more confidence. But mom... Now, now, no moping. I'll help you look for a new place later. I've got to go and meet your sister for now and discuss this acting of hers. Talk to you later. So, did mom talk to you yet? Peter? What, Bethany? I'm busy. Doing what? Waking up? No, I don't sleep until 7 in the evening. That's what you do. Whatever. Just stop whatever non-important thing it is that you're doing and listen to me. Did you talk to mom yet? Yeah, I did. And what did she say? She said I need to move out by the end of the month. Hmm. Well, that's kind of her. I told her to kick you out by the end of the week. Wait, this was your idea? Well, duh. But why? Because I want your bedroom. What? Yeah, mine's too cramped, and if I'm going to be a star, I need only the best things. Your room can easily fit a king-size bed in it, and in order to look my best as an actress, I need the best beauty sleep I can get. So, I want your room. But this is my room. I literally live here at the moment. Yeah, well, not for long. Why are you being such a witch to me? What have I done to warn you trying to push me out of the family? Nothing, really. But I need the room because if I'm going to live with mom and dad, I at least want to be comfortable. Why do you need to move back in? Something's happened, which has made it difficult for me to afford my own place. So I need to go home for a while. 
Okay, well, your room is still here, so you can just move back into that, and I'll stay in my room. No, you need to move out because I can't be seen living with my parents and dorky brother. It's just not cool, especially for an up-and-coming actress like me. What? That's ridiculous! Ugh, look, you know that acting thing I told you about ago? Yeah? Well, I managed to get back in contact with them about the callback, and it looked like things were looking up. They asked me to wire some money to them, just to secure my position in the whole casting thing, so I gave them what they asked for. But recently, I haven't been able to get in contact with them at all. It's like they're ghosting me. So now I don't have the money that I need to pay my rent and bills. Luckily, Mom said that she'd let me move back for a while. But I don't want you here. Oh, wow. That, uh, that's quite a mess you've gotten yourself into. I hate to say I told you so, but... Ugh, just shut up. Just make sure you've moved out by this weekend. That's when I'm moving back. Whoa, hold up a second. That's not gonna happen. Why not? Well, this is my home too. I'm not gonna let you just kick me out. Well, mom's already done that, so you don't really have much to say about what's happening. Anyway, I'm your little sister, and as such, I should get priority. You've had your turn being a freeloader, so now it's my turn. And I want the best room, so that's what I'm going to have. You'll just have to find somewhere else to waste your time on your laptop, because you're not welcome here anymore. You have no clue what I'm actually doing on my laptop. Just you wait. I'll show everyone that I'm not wasting my life. I don't care. You've always been a loser, and you'll continue to be one for the rest of your life. Unlike you? A moron who gave away all her money to a scammer? Like it or not, Mom has kicked you out and chose me over you. It's just the way it is. So, unless you want me to make things worse for you, you'll listen to me and move. No. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Peter, why would you be so horrible to your sister? Mom, what are you on about? She's already going through a really tough time and she doesn't need you bullying her and making it worse. She knows that she has made a mistake, but everyone does in life at one point or another. I've not bullied her. Don't lie to me. She told me everything. Whatever she told you wasn't true. So now you're calling her a liar? What a nice brother you are. Why can't you just do what she asked you to do? And what move out to where? And why should I? This is my house too, you know. Yes, but now you've outgrown it. You're the older brother, so you need to look after your little sister and move out. And what about me? You'll have to figure that out for yourself. You know what, fine. I don't think I want to be associated with such cold and heartless people. Even if they are supposedly my family, I'll move out just like you want. But don't even try and bother me again. I want nothing to do with any of you anymore. Good. I'm glad to be getting rid of such a freeloader. Your sister will be much more helpful around the house. Ah, sure. Anyway, after this, you won't hear from me again. Sorry to have been such a burden to you. Well, get your way like always, Bethany. My room is yours. Ha! I knew that I'd win. I always do. Maybe now you'll actually try to do something with your life. I already have. Huh? Yeah, all that time I spent on my laptop, I wasn't doing nothing. I was creating my very own game. In fact, earlier today, I had a meeting with some high-end executives from some pretty big gaming companies who love my idea. They've already decided to sponsor it and have paid me thousands to have gaming rights. They've also hired me to make at least two sequels for the game, so that's more money secured. They say it's going to be the next big seller and we'll make a lot of money. What? Yeah, oh, and just to let you know, Mom told me she'll be expecting you to help out with the rent and bills and stuff. I had to, so she wants you to cover my payments. Wait, what? That's not fair. If you're rich now, then you can continue to make the payments. I haven't got a job after all. <laughs> That's your fault. I've moved out of that horrible house and I'm never going back. So I don't have to give anyone any money at all. You all belittled me and made fun of my work, so there's no way that you get to reap the rewards of all my hard work. That's not fair. If you've got thousands, then you need to share. I'm your little sister, so help me out. No, maybe you should get off your lazy butt and get a job. 
I hear you're gonna need one. I'm trying, but no one wants to hire me as an actress. You'll just have to cover for me money-wise. No, I'm good. You're just gonna have to be a grown-up and face your own problems. Or you can let mommy just coddle you like a baby. I bet I know what option you'll choose. Ugh, oh, I'm not a baby. You sure act like one. Anyway, don't bother messaging me again. I don't want such negative and toxic people ruining my life. That's not fair. I'm not toxic. You're one of the most toxic ones. Maybe people can see your attitude and that's why they don't want to hire you as an actress. No one likes a diva. Anyway, I'm going. Goodbye. I moved out of my parents' house as fast as I could, and with the money that I'd made selling my game, I was able to buy myself an amazing new flat, which had everything that I could ever want in it. My sister, my mom, and my dad weren't as fortunate. Bethany wasn't able to get hired as an actress by anyone. She ended up freeloading off my parents until they got fed up with her and kicked her out. This meant that Bethany was forced to work in a fast food place just to earn enough money to get by. My mom and dad weren't any better off. With no one to help pay the rent and bills, my mom was forced to go back to work in a local shop. They tried to contact me once and ask for money, but I quickly told them no. I knew that they were only interested in what I could do for them instead of my actual feelings. Whilst it was difficult because they were my parents, I knew that for my own mental health, I needed to create boundaries. If that meant cutting those toxic people out of my life, then so be it. 